on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits? Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Okay, first things first. When Izuku actually goes to the Nether Realm where he meets Scorpion, this is after the whole entrance exam. And the reason why he actually ends up there is because he sees the portal, hears screaming, and goes running straight through it. But the portal was in the forest in which Izuku was actually training. Why? Because of realizing that he got zero villain points, didn't know about the hero points at all, and in fact that Oraka was going to actually offer up her points to help him get in, he was nervous. He thought, oh my god, if I don't get into UA, all my going to be disappointed in me, he's going to try to take the court back, he's going to see me as not worthy of it. Anymore. He's going to find someone else to be his successor. All this is going through Izuku's head as he's trying to get more control over one for all. Which, he still doesn't know how he uses it properly, so he is still using it to huh, change every so often when it comes to his body parts. Flowing it through that instead of his whole body. We hear screaming. It's actually someone being tortured. Yes. So someone in it's hell. Someone is gonna be going through unspeakable torture. It's it's only makes sense. So his hero hero instinct chimes in and he goes on the offensive. Only thing is, yeah, when he sees the area he's in, he's like, what the hell? Only for a demon to turn around, turn his head, and say, exactly. But seeing as Izuku is, wait, you, something's not right about you. What? what? As he is, this demon is walking up to Izuku. The ground is quaking on, under his feet. So, as soon as he just towers over Izuku, he's pretty much, you are alive, aren't you? Uh, what? You're alive. I, 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 uh, these souls, they, they, they would generate after a time, but I wonder, where would you go if I fillet your skin? I, 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 I as yes, Izuku is speechless and terrified because he can tell this guy is not joking. Him carrying this huge butcher's knife and flay knife. Him taking a swing at Izuku, him barely being able to dodge, he even gets a haircut because of it. And you can just imagine Izuku running for his life. Only thing is he has to use one for all, and he overuses it again, causing him to actually cause several hairline fractures in both legs. Him pretty much, he's stuck. He can't walk on his hands. All he can do is pretty much, oh my god, he's gonna find me, I know it. I pretty much just yelled out who... I'm here, and, and I'm the good way. But as soon as Demon shows up again, there's four more of them who he told about Izuku, so... Yeah, this is not looking good. Both his legs are broken. <laughs> eh, well, hairline fractured, but close to broken. <laughs> So he's not planning on using them anytime soon, so he has no choice but to pull a punch using as much power as he can possibly use and hopefully be able to do it again. He kills them. I'm not even joking. He, th There's nothing left. 
Because if anything, Scorpion, yes, he is strong. He, but he also has that hellfire, his teleportation, and all of that. He, but when it goes to raw power or brute strength, All Might, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Yeah, not to mention they pretty much nerf how powerful they actually are from time to time in the um, game. So, go figure. So, Scorpion shows up. He sees the state of what used to be his demons. And he looks at Izuku, his arm broken, bruised, blood just trickling down. It's, you know, off color right now. So, who are you? Izuku Midoya. How did you get here? Uh, there was this swirling portal thing I heard screaming inside to help without any plan. You didn't even know where the portal led to. Wait. I remember going to Earth Realm. Huh. Interesting. So I see you killed my minions. What? Wait, so are you the devil? No. Believe me. I met him. He's not that impressive. Let's see. Might as well. Wait, what are you do? Don't worry. Very least I can speed up the healing process, but it's up to you to not break yourself again. So it could heal proper. As yeah, Scorpion does his best to pretty much mend what was damaged, but the arm is a lot di more difficult considering how badly it's been technically sent through hell. Izuku being able to walk, but it's a challenge. So can you send me back? I, uh, I believe I can. But something troubles you. What is it? As Izuku, he's... He feels somewhat like he can trust Scorpion, but he doesn't know... Can he really? Should he? So, as in days... I... Um... There was this... I used to not have... Power, but I wanted to be a hero regardless. I did not have the easiest childhood from my peers, and... But I still clung on to that. Alright. Then one day, someone who I hold in very high, high regards, I he told me I could be. Completely forgetting the fact that he had, first of all, I said, no, you couldn't be a hero. <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. So, yes, I trained. And when it came to time to make it, to UA, I did the interest exam. I I didn't do the best. How many points did you receive from this uh, test? I only destroyed one robot, and it was a zero pointer. All because I wanted to save someone. Well then, you're already a hero. What? Yeah. I mean, though you may not have passed the test to get you into the Hero Academy, 
I'm sure there are other schools. Hmm. Hmm. I can see your worried expression for you worry that your mentor has been is uh, disappointed that you let him or her down. I did. Th that is why I believe. Hmm. Well, I can see why you would think that. Your control over this power of yours. And you said you were a late bloomer? Yes. Hmm. Well, this control seems to be very lackluster. Hmm. Tell you what. When are your results supposed to come in? A week? Okay. Let's see. Ah. Spend two months in here with me. What? Wait, what? But I... Calm down. Time works differently here. More time passes to increase the level of suffering. Wait, what? Oh, yes. To some of those who are fortunate enough to go back to the land of the living, the reason why it felt like years, when it was only possibly one year, that is why. Really? Yes. Oh, believe me. I... I know a thing or two about suffering. It is not a pleasant thing. So you would train me? In a manner of speaking, yes. But from what I can tell, your body is very weak compared to some of the people I've met. You need more muscle mass, because your ability seems to involve enhancing it to a point where it can at least the power, but your body is not completely ready for the aftermath. So, before we do anything else, we should build up more muscle mass. Does that sound doable? Um... Sure, do you have weights or a specific meal plan or what? Hmm. A specific meal plan? <sighs> Tell you what. You saw how you killed those demons. Yes, now I am very sorry for that. Like, how much of your power did you use? Um. Upon hearing is like really impressive. In that case, let's see. Show me how this power of yours actually works. He's like you charging up one for all in his arm, but it's like, wait, what are you doing? What? The, I'm using the quirk. No, 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 no. What you're doing is pretty much putting your body through the ringer. You're, you're literally sending your body through hell, or at least parts of your body, and it does not need to be that st stressful on it. What? Try flowing the power throughout your entire body. Don't just focus on one point. That's how you end up breaking it a lot easier. Let's see how much you can use. And which? How much is that? 5%. Hmm. Alright. Okay. In that case. Let's see. I'm going to try something that will help you a little bit. 
It's not a guaranteed fix, but try to build up the percentage as I try to heal the strain. From what I can see, the more you use, the more strain it puts on your body, the more your muscles, the more your bones are aching. But if I heal you slightly as it goes on, wait, does that sacrifice my stamina? No. I mean, it may do something with mine, but not no, not yours. Oh, okay. Um, great. As Izuku, he lays on his back and starts powering up one for all, this time throughout his whole body and slowly raising the percentage. As soon as he feels strained, this is when Scorpion starts to apply the fire healing. And it's going on and on for at least two hours. Easy. All right. So, how high was that? I think I can do 6% now. Good. Now, look at your body now. See any changes? Is yes, he's looking and he's a bit bulkier than he was before. Is this what? Hmm. Looks like I was right. Despite the whole healing process, you're still putting strain on it in which it heals, it's supposed to get a bit bigger. If anything, I think this All Might, you called him? Hmm. Who knows how much strain he had to endure before he could actually use 1% of his power. And when you really think about it, he's, uh, how bulky compared to you? Uh, one of his arms is the size of my head. Huh. That's quite impressive, but also, hmm, he must be like a one-shot kill kind of person. Like, one punch is supposed to be the end of it. Interesting. However, what you should try to do is focus on technique as well as power. Explosive raw power is good, but it can only it only works the best if you can know you can hit your target. Like say if you have someone that can shrink and grow at a whim, then they'll be a lot more difficult to really pinpoint really oh yes like me just him just teleporting I can teleport however as many times as I want I can go in between realms as well but if you do as all my did and just constantly use 100% that leaves you at a sore disadvantage if you're not fast enough to keep up with me I can tie you out, I could go for your weak points while you're punching in a different direction. You know. Wow. I never thought of it like that. Yes. At the end of the day, all you can do is really rely on your training, yourself, and. Yes. That's basically it so what can I do at 6% oh, yeah. there's only one way to find out kid train with it see what you can do uh, okay but what if I get hurt again You just come to me and I'll heal you. But don't expect me to do it every single time. What? 
You can't rely on me to be your personal doctor. In fact, next time you injure yourself, I'm not going to heal you. Wait, what? Yes. You need to learn restraint and be cautious. You learn how to control that power of yours to a point where you don't you have to worry about breaking yourself unless it's literally the only thing you can do. So, it's all you. Really? Well, I'm waiting. Wait, where where am I? You're going out there. What? Yes. You're going to be tasked with fighting and dispatching demons. And any souls that decide to skip out on punishment. That is your task. This is hell, young Midoriya. Mercy is not something that is given, nor should it be expected. As this when Izuku is shooed away by Scorpion into the Nether Realm, pretty much, yeah, it's kill or be killed here. Preferably, you survive and they die. First, yes, it is difficult. Izuku, he doesn't want to hurt nobody. He doesn't want to do anything that could possibly injure a nice person. Well, someone who could be seen as nice. But, looks can be deceiving, can they not? When he actually meets up with an old lady. And she's just acting all weak, disheveled. Like, what am I doing here? I, who, who, who was that scary thing? I, uh, someone please help me. He said, it was like, oh, I have to do something. Him trying to, to get some information out of her, trying to get her any help he can, even calling out to Scorpion. Scorpion's... This is hell. She's here for a reason. Though, yes, some people are screwed over. I know what she's done. <sighs> Don't die here. Don't die just to go to heaven or stay down here, please. Don't become a revenant. As yes, it is two days. Izuku is pretty much carrying this old woman to the point where he arrives right at the point where he actually showed up. So this is the way out. Yes, ma'am. Oh, such a sweet boy. As she grabs a knife she's been hiding and stabs Izuku in the leg. Him screaming and yelling, like, why? Oh, thank you. Now I can get back to my children. Uh, they must miss me in the orphanage. I wonder how many of them su survived that night. I didn't see any of them down here. What? Now all I have to do is wait for the portal that brought you here to get me out. Thank you, young man. You are so sweet. I, wait, why are you doing this? I had it good before I uh, perished. And thanks to you, I get to experience all that fun all over again. I know the kids miss me. <laughs> Thank you so much for... As Izuku, he feels betrayed. He's starting to get angry. He's wondering, what the hell, old woman? 
as she's just turning around, she feels the ominous anger induced, like, what the fuckery that she has unleashed. As Izuku pulls out the knife and kicks her to the ground. Her screaming on pain is like, why are you doing this? I wouldn't just, I ain't falling for that shit no more. Her taking out another knife and throwing it right between Izuku's eyes, him blocking it with his hand and stabbing this old woman. I would say I'll see you now, but I already did. Him just ripping out the knife and that's it. She is gone. Until some demons come back and start carrying her away. He's like, wait, what are you doing? He's like, to take her back to her torture. Wait, wait, what? As... Please, please don't send me back. I don't want to go back. I, I swear I changed my ways. I won't kill anyone anymore. Just please. Yeah. Then she looks at Izuku, seeing that he's not healing. So, so you may are alive. But before I, I go back, I want you to know that I am coming for you. Firstly, a one eye open. I'm going to enjoy torturing you forever. Her being carted away back to her hell of personal torment. Izuku, though he is shook by that, he's like, okay. Ugh. He said he wasn't going to heal me this time. So I might as... Him looking at... The fires. This knife. Oh, this is going to hurt. Him actually taking off his shirt. And making it so he doesn't bite down his tongue. So he can bite down on. Believe me, I've done it before. It helps a bit, but... Oh, it doesn't... It helps quell the pain a little bit, but you gotta cuss a little bit. Izuku actually doing this. He heats up the knife, and he cauterizes his wound, which luckily it wasn't too deep, so if anything, you only has to worry about is a scar, no stitches. <laughs> As yes, he is cussing up a storm. Words you wouldn't even think he would ever know. But he finally realizes that yeah, this is no joke. This isn't where someone can just be nice and actually be a nice person. They're here for a reason. This is hell. They're being tormented some way, somehow. Go figure. And what you guess? He, this is his train for this whole time. When the two months are up, Scorpion takes a look at what he's done to Izuku. Izuku has been hardened by this. He has a, a few scars, definitely, from his carelessness. But to him, he, he doesn't mind them. If anything, they mean he actually survived the bullshittery. He's earned them. They may be caused by blunders, but they are proof that he was strong enough to survive them. Scorpion is actually proud. So, all right. Yeah. If anything, one last thing before you go. Oh, uh, what's that? <laughs> 
And Scorpion just shoots out his chain kunai right at Izuku, almost point blank. Izuku gained the survival instincts, dodges it by and only gets a scrape right above his chest. As he just looks, and Scorpion's already gone. So is the chain and kunai, and he's on guard instantly. He's starting to yell at him, what the hell are you doing? I... Are you supposed to train me? I am. You've learned to survive here. Good. But you're still going to have to prove to me that you're capable of becoming a hero. You want to become a hero who wants to save everybody. Well, show me. As yes, Izuku and Scorpion are pretty much in a complete and total death match. Izuku not wanting to kill Scorpion for all he's done, but Scorpion seemingly, yeah, he's not holding anything back. Supposedly. Yes, he uses Hellfire. He uses fire teleportation. Hell, he makes it so when he uses his swords, he's not using the back of it. Izuku is getting more cuts as the fight progresses. And then Izuku is like, this guy is literally trying to kill me. And with that, all bets are off. That, that's it. Izuku, he powers up 15% of one for all. Feeling barely any strain. As he starts going all out. Then he notices, technically he's faster than Scorpion, but with that teleportation and the speed in which he can do it and the consistency and the rapid ability, yes, it is difficult for him to really catch up. But if anything, through his trials, he's learned that, yeah, everybody has its weak points. All you need to do is get one good clean hit. In which he calms down. He stops flailing around like a wounded animal. Scorpion, like, oh, did he give up already? I'm so disappointed. As then he knows is Izuku making a fist. But he opens his palms up. What is he doing? Then, Izuku just sits down. Huh. Scorpion pretty much... Okay, let's see how this goes. Him teleporting right behind Izuku. Izuku flashes. And he's gone. It's like, oh, wait, how did... And then... Scorpion just stabs at the back of him, thinking he got Izuku, but he's like, oh my god, just seeing that. Wait, this is a. As it's an after image. Izuku's not there. And then Scorpion's like, okay, now I get it. Oh, I see what he's doing now. As yes, wherever Izuku is moving, he's moving at such rapid speeds in which one for all strain will affect him. In short bursts to the point where yes he has after images yes he can confuse his enemy only thing is he can't do it continuously he can't do, keep this up forever so if he can at least get a uh, scorpion to you say give him an opening he knows this fight is his scorpion is not allowing this and right <laughs> And then he starts looking. He starts focusing. He's trying to focus on Izuku's heat signature. Which, as soon as he sees this dude via the ultraviolet thermal vision decation, he goes strike for the kill, which Izuku runs straight into it. I mean, as soon as he tries to do the get over here, Izuku goes diving towards the kunai. Him doing a last minute dodge, grabbing the chain, and he's like, get over here. 
scorpion, pulling him towards him, grabbing him by the neck, and punching him via right in the middle of his chest. Scorpion. <laughs> Well done, you did it. I'm uh, I must say I'm impressed. Wait, you're not dead? Of course I'm not dead. That was meant to I was I was actually Yeah, you were trying to kill me. Well done. But I but I I thought you <sighs> Sometimes a hero has to do what is, needs to be done for the good of the people. You were fighting to survive. You know how precious your life is, don't you? Yes. And now, I can honestly say you've done enough. You may not be able to beat me, because I'm not going to lie. I have home field advantage. I get stronger the longer I'm in here. So, you're never going to beat me in my own domain. Unless you get, like, very lucky. But at the very least, <laughs> nice try. Alright. Come on, you can go home now. Him just opening up the portal was crazy. Hey, I got results. I got you results. That's all that matters right now. Seriously. Sometimes you gotta think about it. Once everything's been built, once a civilization has been uh, completely, you know, visible, it's been created, does anyone really care how they did it? Or at least... The survivors might not. <sighs> thank you. Hmm. No need to thank me, kid. This was you. Yes, I nudged you in the right direction, but... You yourself had to survive. I gave you no help. <sighs> But I can at least heal you before you go. You know that? Izuku goes home. When he arrives, Inko, she's panicking. She's like, where, where were you? Why haven't you said anything? And right behind Inko is All Might. Like, yo, Midoriya. As they look at him real bit scars and wondering... What happened? So, uh, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. I. Uh, are you all right? Um. Yes. Better even. Well, your mother called the police once uh, she learned that you were gone and you didn't even give her a call. You have this, as it's the letter from UA. Zuku ripping it open, taking out the hollow disk, and receiving his message that he passed. He sees the whole thing with Oraka. He's the, the hero points, and he is all too happy. He's looking at all my. He's looking at Inko as the, he has no real other reactions other than. Tackle them into a hug. And that's how this first part ends. But yeah. <laughs> oh man. I, I'm i sorry, Zuku. It had to be done. Well, technically, no, it didn't. But I just thought. But at the very least, this was fun. Oh, I can't wait for Zuku to learn more about the world and what Scorpion had. <sighs> Crap. Just wait until you meet Sub-Zero.
Oh, yeah. Yes, I, I've planned a lot for this because I love Mortal Kombat and I love My Hero Academia. Seriously, I can make several what ifs around a similar topic and somehow make it original as I can now. Ah, that was fun. But it is time for our next video, which I think it should be. What if Deku was an Enderman? Yeah, why not? 